counting atoms in a hydrate is even trickier than counting them with just a polyatomic ion. <clears throat> you almost need to think of this number after the dot as being outside parentheses around water as well. It's really saying that there are five water molecules associated with every one of these. So now when we count our atoms, we have one copper atom. When there's no subscript, it's one. Same thing with sulfur. And then on this side, there's oxygen, but there's oxygen over here as well. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to write what we have for now, and then I'm just going to add to it in a second. So over here, we have five waters. So when I distribute that through, that means there's, there's five water molecules, and each one has two hydrogens. So there's a total of 10 hydrogen atoms. And then five water molecules, each one having one oxygen. So essentially five times that missing subscript of one is five more oxygen. So adding that to what I already have is nine. So total of our atoms we have, let's see, we have 10 and nine is 19, 20, 21 atoms. Let's do one more. We're going to do hydrated nickel sulfate. It's also a sulfate. This one has six water molecules associated with it. So with nickel 2 sulfate, uh, for each one of those, we have six water molecules associated with it. And I'm going to go ahead and put parentheses there. So nickel atoms, we have one. Sulfur atoms, we have one. Oxygen we have four here, but there's going to be more. So over here, when we multiply through, we have 12 H's and then six more oxygen. So I'm going to change this number to 10. Now when I add them up, we have 12 and 10, 22, 23, 24 atoms.